it's Megan from Northwest Myofunctional Therapy. Uh, you may also know us as NWMFT, Northwest Myo. You know, we abbreviate everything around here. So, but you're here because you need braces. You visited the orthodontist. You're so excited for these straight teeth. You are ready for the next steps. And then you hear that you might need a little extra help besides just braces or Invisalign or expanders. So here's the deal. Your tongue is super, super strong. Your face muscles are super, super strong. Your teeth and your bones, they move, especially as we're growing, okay? And we know that form, your teeth and your jaws follows function, how your tongue and face muscles move. Your tongue is actually what we call the architect of your mouth, your jaw and your teeth. So it needs to be in the perfect spot in order to help you succeed on your orthodontic journey. Did you know that your tongue is supposed to rest in the roof of your mouth? I didn't find that out until uh, I was in my 20s, well past my braces. <laughs> I had an expander because my tongue was never in the roof of my mouth. I had a tongue tie. Uh, nobody ever told me my tongue was supposed to be up there. And so I had a really high, narrow arch. I needed an expander that I had to crank in order to even make space in my mouth. And so your tongue shouldn't be floating, not touching any teeth, not being in the bottom of your mouth. It should be sealed with a slight suction all the way up. Okay, not just the tip, the whole thing. Can you suction your tongue to the roof of your mouth? Does it stay there when your mouth's closed? If not, then you may, may need some help to succeed in your orthodontic treatment beyond just braces, beyond just Invisalign. So it gets a little frustrating, you know, because technically we shouldn't need braces, right? Technically myofunctional therapy shouldn't even exist because we should be able to have our tongue in the roof of the mouth without thinking about it. Lips sealed together, breathing through the nose, correct chewing and swallowing. Um, and we can get into why people don't do that in a different video, but a couple of different highlights here. Why did my teeth get crooked in the first place? We've got thumb sucking, pacifier use, okay? Finger sucking, just things in the mouth that aren't just your tongue, okay? Mouth breathing, daytime or nighttime, low tongue posture, so that tongue living in the bottom of the mouth, lips just not being sealed together day or night, a tongue tie perhaps. There's also a genetic factor. I mean, how many times have you been told you have your dad's teeth, your mom's teeth, your grandma's teeth, your grandpa's teeth, right? And uh, there is a genetic component to it, but also there is habits and the way we learn to chew and the way we learn to swallow a lot of times is by watching what other people do. And so we do what other people do. How many times uh, did you... <laughs> Maybe see a little kid try and eat like the family dog, right? Licking the bowl because they have, that's how the dog eats. And so maybe they go through a phase where they like to eat like that too. So there is some genetics to it, but there also is just some copycatting as we're growing up. And then that becomes our habit and that becomes what we do. And we didn't even know that we weren't supposed to. So one thing that we can do, which is kind of fun, is we can actually try a swallow test. So Grab a glass of water. I have a water bottle, okay? While we're sitting up, we're gonna take a drink of water out of our cup and we're gonna swallow, okay? Did your tongue push against your teeth? Was it super gulpy? Um, do you feel like you have no idea what your tongue even just did and maybe you need to try it again? Go ahead. <laughs> Think about it this time. All right. This time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the water in our mouth. We're gonna smile with all of our teeth showing and we're gonna try and swallow the liquid. Did the water come out of your mouth? Did you have to close your lips to keep it from coming out? Was it more of a... Some people just let it fly and that's okay too. <laughs> but. That is just a quick tongue thrust check, tongue thrust test. If that water, that liquid wanted to come out, your tongue's pushing everything forward. And the only reason it's not coming out all the time is because your lips and your cheeks keep it in there. 
Okay. So if that did happen to you, uh, then your tongue's pushing against your teeth every day. We swallow 3,000 plus times a day. So 3,000 plus times a day, your teeth are being moved by your tongue pushing it forward. It's being bullied around. So we want your teeth to stay put once your braces are off. So we need your tongue to be fully up in the roof of the mouth, stabilizing, keeping those lips together to hold that bite in place. So proper chewing and swallowing is crucial. Having that tongue up in the roof of the mouth is crucial. And if we're not doing these things, we may need braces again and again and again. <laughs> the record for one of my patients is five times. Um, and we need that tongue sitting in the roof of the mouth properly and swallowing foods and liquids properly as well. And that's how we get out of that cycle. Braces on, a couple of years later, braces off, a couple of years later, braces back on. And it just all kind of snowballs downhill. So where can myofunctional therapy play in? So myofunctional therapy and the orthodontic work goes hand in hand, all right? Peanut butter and jelly, uh, your orthodontist is the master of your teeth movement and the myofunctional therapist is the master of the muscle movement. And we work together like this. So myofunctional therapy is an exercise and habit-based protocol program that's designed to help with long-term stability of your orthodontic journey. So we want you to have perfect teeth too, okay? Um, and we want them to stay that way for decades after you completed your treatment. And myofunctional therapy can help do just that. So the key to long-term success is really working as a team. If you could avoid having braces again by spending five minutes twice a day to learn new habits, to learn new muscle patterns, would you do it? Our muscles and our bones work together to help our bodies reach normal and optimal function and that optimal health. So other signs and symptoms that you might need myofunctional therapy, their speech concerns, certain sounds, S, T, R, L, C, H's, S, T's, stutter, lisp, kind of feeling like sloshy or doughy speech. You're tired after you've talked for a long time. Headaches, migraines, clenching, grinding, TMJ, TMJ, jaw pain, face pain, mouth breathing day or night, snoring, sleep apnea, allergies, asthma, nasal congestion, chronic sinus issues or infections if you've had your tonsils and adenoids out, if you've had braces before, we already talked about that one, uh, history or current nightmares, bedwetting, sleep talking, sleepwalking, uh, you do gymnastics in your sleep, you sleep like this, um, you're rolling around all over the place, brain fog, fatigue, daytime sleepiness, having a hard time paying attention to school, maybe we've had some attention disorders potentially, come into the conversation, digestion troubles, chewing with your mouth open, being a messy eater, a picky eater, a super slow eater, or even a super fast eater. Any one of those things, any of the combination of those things can be a red flag for some sort of oral motor dysfunction. And we could look further into myofunctional therapy and why that could be right for you. So if you've been recommended for myofunctional therapy by your orthodontist, we're your gals, we're your team. And so you can visit our website at www.orofacial-myology.com. You can scan the other QR code on your brochure. And uh, we're happy to talk more. We're happy to do an evaluation and really just see if we are a good fit for you. No commitment beyond that. but. Uh, Visit us, ask us, find out, <laughs> and uh, we can help with that long-term success. You're spending all this time and money and years uh, in braces, and don't we want that to last a lifetime? So if you found this video helpful, if you have questions, comment them below. Otherwise, feel free to like, subscribe, share, follow on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And really, let's all just take a second, lips together, tongue up, and breathe. All right, guys, we'll see you for our next video. And we can't wait to chat with you soon. Bye.